Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's create a Django project. We are going to build a blog application using Django. And this is the final version of the project which you are seeing now. Here it has the feature called create blog, uh, which is basically a post request. And we can see everyone's blog here. You can see the user is solved by and somehow John Hamid. And here my blogs. Here it will show Sahul's blog because I am logged in now as Sahul and this app has a very special feature which is we are able to log in using our Google account. If you don't believe me, just click on the current user. It will take us to logout page. Here you can see guys I don't style this page because this is the default page which is offered by Django all, all auth. Just say sign out. Here you can see guys here we have we can sign in to this application using our gmail account just click on it just say continue it will take us to the google accounts just say my gmail id okay here you can see guys okay let me demo a post request which is just creating a blog let me say test blog this is a test block okay just say create block it will create a block for us here you can see guys after successfully creating blocks it takes us to my blocks here you can see we are in my blocks because just now i created this block here you can see we also have the feature called date time and just go to all blocks it is in the order of latest created blocks Okay guys, without any further say, just create a Django project. For creating a project, let me open my terminal, get into YT tutorial folder. Okay, let's create a project. For creating Django project, you have to say Django, Django admin start project. You can name whatever you wish. Let me name as blog project okay hit enter it will create a project for you i hope it creates our project just say ls if you are in mac or linux otherwise windows it doesn't work okay here you can see guys we have our block project let me get into block project okay here we are going to create a virtual environment for this project okay for creating virtual environment for you have to say python 3 VNV which stands for virtual environment name it as ENV okay what went wrong oh sorry guys I have to say M over here just say enter it has to create virtual environment for us yes I hope it created for activating a virtual environment you have to say source if you are in Mac or Linux you have to use this command say source just say the environment name which in my case is env and just say bin and say activate it will activate our virtual environment okay guys let's install our package which is django for that you have to say pip3 install django okay it will install it does take some amount of time it depends upon your internet speed it begins to install here you can see that we successfully installed Django and we have to install another one which is uh, Django all out for that you have to say install Django all out let's say it enter it will install the Django all out package okay while it is installing let me go over to Django all out documentation because I have to copy few things from the documentation just say Django all all auth docs i hope meanwhile it is installed okay here you can see guys we successfully installed our package for getting into visual studio just say code uh, space and dot hit enter it will open in visual studio code for you okay just click on the django all auth documentation okay it takes some time here you can see guys uh, it opens visual studio code for us Still now we didn't create any app 
we just created django project i hope you know the difference between a project and a app is like a sub module or sub feature but the django main project is the main application which is under a website or under application okay just get into settings.py okay just delete this first command okay just delete this first command it really doesn't need okay read the docs just go to installation page in the django all auth here you can see guys so this is the django all auth documentation we successfully installed our package and we also have our templates in the settings.py here you can see we have our templates okay after that just copy this django authentication back can just paste it here just remove this unnecessary stuff okay let me remove this come on okay after that just copy this from django.contrib.sites to social accounts just copy this and paste it here in the installed apps oh. okay let's undo this extra space and, <clears throat> and here we have to take google because we are going to use google authentication it is in the order of alphabet let's say abcd of g here we got our google just copy this and post and paste it here just say control v it paste for us just save this okay after that go down just copy the site id okay paste it here okay after that i think we don't need this just copy this url and paste it in the urls.py okay we should import include from django.urls just say include okay okay guys with this done just get into open a new tab and say developers developers dot google dot console don't worry guys i will link this it is actually console dot developers dot google dot com don't worry guys i will link it in the description box click on it you will take it you will take to this page okay i hope uh, you guys are very familiar with this uh, now we have to create a new project for creating a new project you have to click on this which is actually in your case i think uh, quick star or if you have done any other project you will see the project name just click on it just create new project let me name it as whatever let me say block project you can name it whatever you wish it doesn't matter just say create okay after successfully creating it uh, just get into here which is in the left side just click on the api api services okay in the api services get into the oauth content screen okay now just what went wrong here you can see guys we are in the wrong project because we have to change our project this is my old project just click on the old project here you can see this is the new project which I just created and now just click on the block project okay in the right side you will find api services i think which will be here just click on click on the api and services you will redirect to this page and click on oauth content screen in the oauth content screen we have to create a user type which is going to be external just create just uh, give a name to your project let me name it as blog up oh it is asking okay just give our official mail id it really doesn't matter and just get below and just get below just fill the required session uh, required field let me give my official mail id once again to 815rgmail.com okay just say save and continue okay okay we successfully created our app just get into credentials now now you have to say create credential click on create credentials here you have to say oh, auth client id because it will ask for a client id just say web application 
okay it really doesn't matter whatever the name is just if you wanna wish to change just say your app name let me name as blogger okay we are here we have to add our authorized origin which is gonna be our local host okay okay guys after successfully creating authorized javascript origins get into redirect URIs here you have to copy the same just copy here and paste it over here okay with this done just say create it will create an application it will create a client id for us okay just say okay here okay guys after successfully getting a client id just get back to the django project here you can see guys we are still working on the django project we didn't create any application yet just working on the django project and in the developers console okay with this done okay guys now we have to create a super user before creating a super user just run our application till now we didn't start our application just a python 3 manage.py run server i hope it has to run properly okay here it is asking us to do python manage.py migrate here we have to do our initial migrations just open another one tab or otherwise you can control you can cut the server and say python 3 manage dot manage dot py say migrate it we, because we have to do our initial migration okay after doing our migrations just create a super user for creating super user you have to say python manage dot py just say create super user it will create as it will ask uh, username for us just say whatever you wish i am saying admin here i am leaving the email address as empty it really doesn't matter i am giving the password and okay it, it says password is too short it doesn't matter for now just say yes okay it successfully creates the super user now we have to run our app for running we have to say python da, python 3 manager that we were server just say it enter by the by why i am saying python 3 is because i am using python 2 in my computer also for specifying the exact version i am saying python 3 okay we don't have any error just get into our browser and say 127 local host okay we have to get in the admin page okay my username is admin and password also admin 2 okay and now we have to create site just click on the sites just uh, click on the add site here 127 domain name as one to a local host and the same goes here just say save okay after successfully creating sites just get into social accounts not sorry just get into social applications okay say add application here you can see our provider is google because we specified in settings.py google alone okay let me name our app as blog up okay after that it is asking for the client id just now we got from the developers console just click on this here you can get your client id okay copy this and paste it here in the client id okay after pasting client id it is asking for the secret just copy this it will doesn't matter for now okay get into the application just paste it okay it is asking for secret just say this is secret it really doesn't matter if you want to create a strong secret key just use some other packages to do after this here the main thing is you have to choose the sites here i am choosing choose all okay just save this okay i think we are done with this let's get let's say log out and and get into this page which is accounts slash logins okay if here you can see guys we are uh, getting a default page which is offered to us by django all auth just click on google you will see the magic just say continue 
okay it will show our google accounts oh shit i think we have done a mistake here just get into this okay guys here we have to change the authorized redirect uri so for that i am getting into this application this article which i read in the morning just click on this link it will take me to this article just get below get below get below here i have to see that redirect uri just copy this it really does matter i don't worry guys i will link this article too in the description box oh here i have to change guys not in the admin page i have to change this authorized redirect uri just copy that uri and paste it here just say save it is saving okay it really does matter it is a small mistake which i did okay let's say once again log out just close this shit never just say log out once again click on the log out let me get into once again account slash look login which is offered by jango all or just click on the google once again just say continue okay it has to show all the okay now it has to log in okay guys we are successfully log in using our <coughs> using our google account okay don't worry about this error because we are not going to work with this just get back to the django project now we are going to create application just break down this server now let's create if you don't believe me whether we log in or not just get into the admin page once again one oh. just get into admin page once again let me say admin what went wrong oh shit hi i break down the server right okay let me rerun this server now it has to work perfectly fine now it is asking to here you can see you are authenticated as sawul it means i log in as sawul using my gmail now i have to i log in as super user okay okay just click on the social accounts for that close this never just click on the social accounts here you have to get the sawul here you can see guys i log in successfully using my gmail account here you can see the provider is google okay without any further say let's create a or creating app you have to say python 3 manage dot py just say start app and name it let me name it as block keeping as simple as possible okay successfully created app okay now get into the app just do create some files i'm getting into my app and uh, just creating files which is urls dot py okay uh, let me create templates for using html for creating templates i have to create a folder after that i have to create another one folder i don't want to confuse you just show you for creating a template or directory how to say make this templates here you can see guys i am creating a directory which is basically a folder called templates after that getting into the templates creating another one folder name as the same which is blog let me do this make the blog okay now let me create some html file which is going to be base.html index.html base.html after that uh, index.html after that blog forms form.html just keep as simple as possible okay i think we i successfully created everything oh i created every single file in the template folder just shift it to block okay don't ask on second just say move just oh just get into block just get into block okay 
with this done just in the settings.py you have to register your app in the installed apps for that you have to say blogs okay blog which is our app name okay with this done just get to url url s.py which is in the project not in the blog application just say a path here just make it as empty include because why i am saying empty path is because it is gonna be our home route include blog dot url okay guys with this done just get into the models dot py which is in the blog i hope you guys are very familiar with the concept of models i hope you have some basic understanding about django and models and forms okay now let's create our first model for creating model you have to say class name uh, model okay let me say blog model just keep it simple we are, uh, here i have to use models which is just imported from django.db and i have to say models dot model okay with this done here we have to specify the fields code which is gonna be a blog contains a user who created the blog and a title and a content and when it is created just four fields nothing more than that first is gonna be the username which is in the text field models dot here max length is gonna be 50 i hope after that just create a title which is also be the car field and max length is gonna be 50 nothing more than that no one going to name a, a big title okay after that body okay models dot care field max length is gonna be this gonna be 150 okay after that we have to say published date or added date it really doesn't matter let me name as published date okay models dot this is gonna be something different which is date and field here just say auto now is gonna be true basically it adds the current time in the database when a blog is created okay which is say let's say strength which okay let me remove this and in the return just say self dot username plus uh, empty space plus self dot okay before that i have to add a plus symbol over the self dot title keep it simple okay now let me use a meta class okay in the meta class just say which order should be the <coughs> blog has to display for that you have to say ordering uh, in the order of latest created to the old creator which means new blog at the top old blogs should be down for that you have to say negative published date okay Okay, just check the spelling update update. Okay, now let's register this models in the admin.py. Okay, first import models from dot models import import blog model. Okay, admin dot site dot register or oh, not reduce register. register blog model okay with this done let's do our migration here you can see guys uh, we have an error here which is uh, it says uh, no module name decanter and we are not going to use decanter but uh, it's not my fault visual studio automatically imports this because when i say title it just imported from turtle okay just remove this it really doesn't matter now let me rerun this application once again it has to run successfully now 
okay we have an another one error it's because of in the urls patterns we have nothing here right in the blocks.urls we don't have anything that's why it uh, pops up error it really doesn't matter just come out of this for now just save this file it says no error now just uh, just break down the server now run the python 3 manage.py which is our initial migrations migrations okay just say it enter it will create a block for us now we have to do our migrate command okay just say it enter okay now let's run our application for running application just say run server it begins to run okay now here here you can see guys we are creating we are getting a more here we are getting a column or field whatever it really doesn't matter which is block models initially empty now let's add some initial blocks let me say dem hamid as the username okay title is gonna be hamid blog i'm not a good uh, namer do apologies it really doesn't matter this is hamid blog okay so just say save and add another okay here is gonna be john just say john john's blog this is john's blog just say save and add another let me say admin admin's blog okay with this done just say this is admin blog just say save okay here you can see guys we have in the order of old in the order of new block to the old block this is for what we have done in the class meta where it is in the class meta in the reverse order okay i hope you understand after that let's create our views okay for creating views it really doesn't matter guys it's gonna be the index page it is index request it takes the initial request okay spell it wrong otherwise uh, you will get error not now in the future okay return render just say request here request and gonna be the template name you have to specify the HTML template for that just say the folder name blog after that say first one index.html okay let's get into okay just keep it simple for now just create first our views which is our html files and now let's create our html files okay I'm going to copy paste it, not going to write uh, those boring codes. I'm not a good HTML coder. Okay, uh, let me open this file for that. Open the terminal and just get out of it and just get into documents and get into Django and get into my project and j code dot. Don't worry, guys, I will link. I will create a GitHub repo and make this code publicly free. You can copy the just close this terminal. Okay, just maximize the screen. Okay, just copy this base.html control A control cut. Okay, control V. Okay, guys, let me go through the code here. Basically, we are using a social account, which is we are using Google authentication, right? For that, we have to initially load our social account. After that, this are the normal HTMLs, the head tag and body tag. Here, I am creating a now nav bar. Just the title as the blocks, nothing more fancy. And here we have three links which is create blog a uh, home link and my blog just keep it off for now don't confuse yourself this is the navbar and here we have our 
current logged in user after successfully done with our navbar we are getting into the if the user is authenticated we have to do something the user has uh the user is authorized and the user has some features in our app if the user is not authenticated else in the else condition just display a hey, you log in with your gmail account and here we have a link here you can see uh, a tag with the link of google okay with this done just save this file okay after that just copy this index.html just say control a control card now get into this index.html and paste it over here okay here you can see we are extending the base html base template and in the block content get back to the base.html in the if the user is authenticated we have to do something we have to show something in the block so for that in the block content this index.html is going to be our home page which has the content of everyone's blog with the username title body and when it is published this is the and here i am using bootstrap for guys for display for the styling purpose i am not using css just say control c this is simple this is simple logic guys a array of blocks which contains a i use which every single block contain a username a title and body this is what we created in the models right a username that body and a published date which we are displaying in the home page which is index.html after that we have a form okay if the the authenticated user can also able to create a form right? uh, create blocks right for that just copy this guy control a control cut okay just close this visual studio just say control v we are done with this here you can see guys we have this csr token and just two input field one is for title user can able to write the title and the content because why i am not adding the published date is it is automatically added by the django and the current logged user is gonna be the username and we have the title and the body in the form.html we don't have to worry about the published date django automatically takes care of it takes care of it okay with this done just get into our wireless views.py okay here we have to display the blocks right for we have to import the blog model just say blog don't worry we should should automatically imports for you blog model okay hit enter here you can see we vs code it automatically imports for us and just say objects dot all okay with this done here we have to specify the blocks which is this blocks okay just say as here okay here we are specifying the template as index.html just get into the index.html and let me walk through the code here you can see in the views.py we have mentioned blocks which is the total number of blocks in the database with which is the sql i3 i think so in the index.html it just shows every single it just gives every blocks and every single block is displayed here like the username title and body okay after that let's get into the views.py with this done just create this dev create block now user has to create the block right we are done with this see we are done with this create block sorry we are done with this all blocks which is the home page which does take or uh, which does take our for displaying every single block which is our home page and we have to and now we have to take our of create block which is the which is basically the form which you saw initially at the video right okay just say block which takes the request initially i have to take our about the get method for get method just return just say return oh sorry for the misspell return render 
or not redirect just say request here okay here we have to display this form here you can see we have a form which has an input file with the name of title and another one text area which is our block content with the name of body okay for the get request we have to take care of it. just display the form nothing more than that for get request we have to render this form nothing more than that for that you have to say log slash in form dot html okay we are done with this if it is a post request if the request is post here you can see where is the form get into form here you can see if the request is post i have to do something just get this request dot method is equal to post just first get the title which is entered by the user just say request request dot post and open a square bracket and say the name which is get it touched him this name this input has a name fill right this name here in my case it is title and for the content i am saying as body okay just get back to the views okay and there is another one which is body here i am not taking care of the username and published it and i will tell you why just say get it request dot post and say let's say title after the body right now we have to create the block just say block block model here in the block model in the models dot py we have our blocks right it is asking for the username title and the published date but we have title and body we don't have we don't have to care about the published date because django automatically cares it for the username you have to say the current user for getting the current user in django you have to say request dot user that's it. that simple it will give you the current login user okay after that i think so i have title which is the same title and this title refers to this this title refers to this which is in the models dot py okay with this done let's do the same for Oh, hit a comma the body. This body refers to that model, and this body refers to this. Okay. After done with this, let's say blog dot save. Okay. Okay. After successfully saving this, we have to re redirect it to the this page, which is my blog page. For doing that, let me say. return redirect okay just say i am testing for now okay we are done with this all blocks and create blocks now we have to take care of my blog which is the current users blog for that I just copy this just copy this index okay why it is not copying just copy this guy okay underneath paste here just say control v here you can see guys now let me change this name to my block which is in the small letter right okay my block here the twist is here in the index page in the home page we are displaying everyone's block in this page we have to display the current users block for that you have to use this method which is filter and the username is going to be not user warning current user that simple and the username in the filter we are just filtering the current users block for that you have to see username request dot current user in django we have to get the current user by using request dot user okay that's it we are done with this view we are done with this logic 
we are left with this urls dot py okay just get into the urls dot py which is in the my block project just copy that before that let me get into urls dot py which is in the blog app not in the blog project just copy this just we don't need this and add me in. now we have to import our views from dot import views okay we don't need this we don't even need this just erase this all okay views dot index if the home if it is home route here you can see guys the empty path refers to the home route now get into urls dot py just undo this because we have some content we have some url patterns in the urls dot py which is in the blog app so that's why we can specify these your blocks dot urls in the blog project here you can see it is also empty it means the home route is gonna be the index page which is every single blocks okay with this done let's get into urls.py because we are st still left with another two path if it is create block views dot create block okay at last we are done with the oh we are left with my block which is users block my blog okay for that you have to say views dot my blog okay now let me go to base.html now it will be clear for you here you can see in the name bar we have three links which is for create blog or which the all blog is the home route we don't have to worry about that which is here let me open the url.py the home route is gonna be the index page to display the every single block and and the create block which is the form we just created right the create block and the my blog is current users block here you can see why is the views dot by just filtering the current users block i'm using the same template which is used for the home page right for displaying every single block every single block we are just display we are using the same and index.html and for the users blog we are using the same index.html because the style is same right okay with this done just run our app let me do initial migrations i don't know whether i do whether we have to do this once again or not let me do this for once again i'm not pretty sure just do this once again okay why it stucks okay it says no migration it means uh, it is waste to do that just run this up i hope it should not give any error okay let me close this and undo okay it says no page found but why before that just say control save okay now here you can see guys i think we are done with this because the current user is hello adb uh, okay we uh, let me log out from the django super user and we will create another one block it really doesn't matter we have the current block which is a it, we have to create a block uh, i don't want to create as user admin we have the every single block all blocks my blocks which is only admin okay now let's log out just say sign out it will take us back here you can see guys it just take us to this page let me go to the base.html let me walk through the code if the user is authenticated we display some content right like creating blog and displaying every single blog if the user is not authenticated we are displaying just this hey you if i clear if i click on login with google it will display the box just say continue by the way i didn't style this page it really doesn't need now just say sorry okay now 
oh at last i am left with a single thing which is login redirect or else for that you have to say just get into urls dot py underneath site id just say login redirect you or i is gonna be empty our home page okay just say one second saul amit now it will take us to the home page oh it's is say one second log out just say sign out here let me say one second log in with google okay continue just click on the google accounts which you are here you can see guys the same blog app name which we registered in the developers.google.com just see okay here you can see guys we are redirected to the home page because we have to specify this otherwise it redirect us to the profile page which we didn't create at and not going to create okay now let's create a blog just say create a blog let's name it as some sahul's blog oh this is sahul's blog and uh, yeah just say create blog it will take us to oh create blog it says it doesn't match with oh <laughs> Uh, sorry guys uh, i didn't specify the url uh, redirect url in the views.py okay just go to base.html just copy this url which is my blog okay i think i copied this just get into views.py control v okay guys we successfully done with this let me see okay let's check whether we created a blog or not all blog uh, we get our sahul blog in the my blog uh, which is i created just now let me create another one blog create blog so testing okay testing blog with no content let me add a g over there okay create blog now it has to take us to the my blog section here you can see we just create a testing now okay guys okay guys that's it uh, this is all about the project don't worry about this style i will create a github repo for this project and i will link in the description box so just click on this and copy this style if if you are a good designer just make a better design than me i am not a good designer and not a good html coder so that's why i copy pasted it and i hope i explained you the every logic see it has no logic just we are creating a models just to say the just to explaining it to the sql like three just save this data username title and body and a simple three methods not even three methods just two methods one we are displaying every single blogs using all method and filtering the current users blog and if it is the post method just save it to the database nothing more than that it is damn simple project guys and i recommend you if you are a beginner just try this project it will be a good start for you okay thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and like this video